We're here at beautiful Beth Page State Park Polo Field, and I'm here with the amazing Keith Hart, who's quite the equestrian. Hi, Keith. How are you? Thank you for inviting me. This is so exciting. Hi, Helen. How are you? Good. Great. Great day. Beautiful day out here in Beth Page. Be beautiful day. So tell me, how many Pelopides are you going to be riding today? Today I'm going to be riding six horses. It's uh, six chuckers, so I ride one horse for each chucker. Right. Now, a chucker is a division of the game. Right. Am like I right? Period. It's like a period in, in, uh, in basketball or anything else. The so same yes. thing. It's seven and a half minutes long. Seven and a half mm -hmm. minutes long. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what is your uh, first mount's name? My first mount is Carablanca, and this is probably my uh, steadiest horse, easiest to ride, and uh, oldest, but probably my most favorite horse to ride. Okay. So then there's also a method to the horse that you choose, am I right? You want to start out, you know, like you said, with the steady horse, right. a horse you can count on, your mm -hmm. favorite horse, th th that'll get you going good right, right. from the get-go. Then, then how do you know what horse to move on to next? Well, I have, I've been riding these horses for quite a while now. Oh, she's going the wrong way. Come here, Carablanca. Uh, and, uh, and then I go on, move on to a little bit faster, a little bit more difficult horses as it go. And at the end, you kind of want your best horse mm -hmm. that's kind of the fastest horse and the, that you're comfortable with also. So no, let me ask you, how long have you been playing polo? Uh, this is my fourth season. Oh. The sport of kings. Now, did you start out uh, in another discipline? Well, I was a rider. I worked at a riding stables when I was uh, 10 years old, and I loved horses. So Which one? Don't tell me you're from Queens. I, I'm from Queens. I'm from Bayside, Queens, but I, wor I rode upstate at Funfair Riding Stables all the way up in Monticello. And I rode there because I liked horses so much. So I rode about five hours a day, every day, from uh, from 10 years old until about 17. So I, I started showing. I started barrel racing and uh, pole bending and uh, horse shows and reining classes. And I thought I could really ride. And, and then... And then he started playing polo. <laughs> Then I didn't play anymore for about uh, for about uh, uh, 30 years. I didn't play, and somebody asked me, told me about polo, and I said, "I'm John Wayne. I could play polo." And uh, and and I went in there, and I uh, uh, I tried to play. And the biggest problem is I'm a lefty. And you have to be righty to play polo. Really? So I, I never I, knew that. That I never know. So I'm learning. I, uh, the one thing I've never done is play polo, so I'm learning. So I had to teach myself how to hit with my right hand. And that's one of the hardest things. Yeah. So that's... It's a, a work in progress, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. So that's funny because I grew up in Queens. I used to ride a Dix -Doo, Dixie Doo and, and Parkside. Yeah, I know both of them. Yeah, and then I, I ended up taking lessons as an adult. Mm -hmm. I ended up as Annie Hayes' horseback riding stunt double on oh, Another World. I did, you know, yeah, TVs yeah. and some movies. Right. I had my own chestnut thoroughbred gelding for 15 years. And I used to love watching Heart to Heart because I knew Stephanie Power mm -hmm. was a uh, polo playing. Uh, lady right, right. and it's funny that i went from one heart to another <laughs> that's funny that's really funny well it's a it's an it's a very tough sport to master and everybody the best way to really learn is when you're young like anything else like yeah. any other discipline but for me it's a lot of fun i enjoy the game it's very competitive and dangerous you yes. got to be careful oh, out there boy. and it's not for uh, well, well, what's your top speed do you think Oh, top speed would be probably about 30 miles an hour. Yeah. yeah you know. and, and you're carrying the mallet and you have to swing it. Now, have you ever experienced uh, s yourself or someone else hitting the horse in the legs with the mallet? Uh, no, not myself. Or I've seen that happen, but it doesn't happen very often. And these horses are athletes. Yeah. You know, they're, they're just great athletes yeah. and they love to play yeah. and they're taken care of better than most people. Yes, uh, so so they're pampered and, and they're physically fit and they love, you know, horses like to run and they like to uh, uh, please and that's what we do and they're ho being very well taken care of. So now you have a relationship with all these horses, am I right? Now do you groom the horses yourself or do you let someone else do it? Sometimes I do. Quite honestly there's uh, six horses and I don't have uh, that much time for all that in riding but uh, sometimes I so, do. So let me ask you, other than riding, what do you do to bond with them? Do you give them a carrot? Do you I give them an apple? After I uh, ride, I try to give them some carrots <laughs> because I want them to like me, yeah, you know? know. So now do you have a groom that has to walk them and cool them yeah. down when they're done, right? right? Mm -hmm. And then um, how are they? Do you have any trouble with uh, transporting these horses? Because I know my horse 
did not like to get onto a trailer. Uh, mine are fine. They don't mind yeah. it at all. Some horses don't like to get on trailers, but mine is fine. Yeah, sometimes when they have a bad experience early on in their life, they never forget right. that because they have memories that you can't believe. Yeah, this one's this one's great. Yeah, my horses are just okay with it. They don't mind at all. Now, Keith, you're getting ready to start in a few minutes. Do you have any nerves? Are you nervous at all? Or it's always, always a little, a little butterflies before yeah. I start in yeah. a big game. Right. Well, they say that it's the adrenaline that makes you actually, uh, <laughs> the adrenaline makes you play better. Yes, yeah, it okay. is. You know what? Uh, your baby over here is getting a little antsy. I think we've had a very nice talk, and I'll catch up with you later, and I'm going to get some footage of you. I hope you win. Okay, thank you very much. Go on. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, Sue. Okay, we're ready now. 
All right, Juan will wind the teams up in the middle of the field, throw the ball in, and away we go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. No. You finally have it? Juan Vasquez. He's going to bring them over to the grandstand stand to let the fans get a better view of the action. I'm sure he'll bring it over this way too in the course of the afternoon. It is Kids Day and I'm sure there's a number of children over there that are very anxious to get a good look at these pole players and their equine buddies. Okay, Juan pitches it in. We have Polo. They stuff it through into the lineup. And out comes Aliana Rizzi with the ball. Now it's turn. Keith Hart gets it out in front. Keith Hart for his hard agency on the Anno team. Headed for goal. Keith needs to keep it in bounds before it goes over the end line and take that tough shot at goal. And he scores! Christian. Nick Galliano playing back. Gets that back shot off. Now that's... Marcelo Doria brings it towards goal. Turned around by Aliano. Picked up now by Beth Page Polo at the park on the far side of the field. Andreas Weiss gets one right within scoring range, but Johnny Rutledge is there to defend. He taps it forward. Johnny, nice clearing shot. Once again, Keith Hart, loose, out in front, held for goal. Keith Hart goes to go to the near side, gets the shot off, back to the off side, being pursued by Christian Vasquez. Christian gets it turned. He turns it. Gets it going in the direction of the designated polo at the park. Waits for the opportunity. He wants us to get a good look at the action as Christian being blocked by Nick Galliano on the Gula Hall. Christian still there. Right in the mouth of the goal. Hard shot, he cuts it. And he scores! Another score. A score which for Beth Page Polo at the park. Blasting shot almost in this field. Christian there, he backs it down towards Beth Page Polo at the park. Picked up now by Andreas. Seconds left on the clock. Andreas cranks on Marcelo Dory. In the mouth of the goal, and he scores. A score for Marcelo Dory and his best paid total at the clock. Team breaking the tie, ending the shuffle with the score now 2 to 1 in favor of Beth Page Polo at the ball. Back to the music. Score is 2 to 1 in favor of Beth Page Polo at the park in blue. There's your throw. Once again, a scuffle right in the line. This is where Empire Vasquez has to keep a close watch because of the close quarters. But it's finally lined out, and it's Andreas Weiss who hits a booming shot downfield for his Beth Page Polo at the park team. Backed out of there by Esteban Scott. Gets it over to his team, Esteban, the ball is in a bad pivot. Taken out of there by Keith Hart. Esteban trying to get it up, he gets it on the hip of Keith Hart. Keith Hart. Keith Hart, he scored. Moving out to it, he goes once again, but it goes over the end line. Knocking the best of the ball. Andreas. Ball stopped at the end line. Ball set back at him by Esteban Scott. He reads it. Esteban. Not anyway. We want to get this one before the clock. That's the 30 second horn. Cut shot. And it goes 
over the end line. That will end our first half, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a round of applause for both teams who've been in the field. And once again, please come out on the field, fix the limits. The kids' activities are on the far side. And also, free pony rides down by the school. So Keith, how do you feel about your first half? You seem to have a wonderful, wonderful time. It was good. One of the horses was very hard to ride. It was pulling on me a lot. Which horse? So the second horse. So my arm is like really tired now. It's like shaking. It's that tired. Oh, but yeah. the score is tied now. Tied two two, and uh, it's a close game. I missed a lot of shots, so I got to get back in. I got to hit them straight. You're gonna do yeah. it. Thank you. All right. I'll see you after the game. Let's hope Right there. Pick up the pick. Heath Hart. Heath Hart once again out in front. Look at that. His third goal. I believe Keith Hart has scored every goal for his team. It is now 3-2. to two. Keith Hart, a scoring machine this afternoon. Okay, a lesser position, the ball is thrown in, and out of the line up, polo at the park, 10 to 10 All right. Wait a minute. Got it? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, the ball's in play. Out of the lineup, it's Ariana Realty. That's Nick Galliano. Gets it up to Esteban Scott. Esteban drops the hammer on that pony. Ball takes it really hot. Nick Galliano picks up the pace. Nick Galliano brings it down the field. He's all the ball now. He's going to keep control of that ball around the boys. Very tough to do. He gets it on the near side. Johnny Rutledge being defended by Beth Page Polo at the park. Christian gets the back shot up. He is away from the goal. But it's picked up now by Esteban right in the mouth of the goal. He backs it to his goal. It hits the goal post, but one of his teammates is right there to finish it off. Keith Hart! No, it can't be. Not another goal for Keith Hart. Wow. Keith Hart's fifth goal in the match, ladies and gentlemen. He's going for a record here. First thing, priority is to play with Sid Shucker, then we'll have the parade, and then the awards will take place over at the grandstand side for the children, and the players will come back from the parade and join us at the tent. Out in front of him. Now he will. Bill is up for grabs. Marcelo Doria takes a shot. Wow, what a shot from 40 yards out by Marcelo Doria on that beautiful gray horse. Marcelo's third goal of the match, making the score now 7-5. Lines him up for the start of our final chucker. There's a throw in. Look at that stuff is for possession. Those mallets flash, I can hit them all the way over here. Uh, Esteban Scott with a shot, he wanted to go to his teammate. Keith 
Yeah. He's hot. I saw it so many holes already this afternoon, and he's trying desperately to get his fifth right now. Adam Hudson is there, and the ball just goes wide. It'll be a knockout for Beth Page Polo at the ball. sides went back and forth. Uh, I got lucky on a few shots and I got lucky I scored some goals, four or five goals and uh, it was a, a special day for me. That normally doesn't happen. I uh, broke away from my man and my guy was fortunate enough to hit it to me at the right time. It's just a great day, beautiful weather, Beth Page Polo every Sunday, the most fun you'll have with your clothes on. I love it. This is a nice day to spend the day and I hope everybody comes down and watches polo. 
Well, Keith, that was such an exciting game. Even the announcer said he did, never saw a game so exciting as that. It was so fast moving. What an athlete you are. Never mind the horses. The horses get changed. You were out there the whole time. You were amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you. But I have to give credit to the rest of the team. They're unbelievable guys, and they passed me the ball so I could score. And that's my job, and uh, they passed me the ball. So it's a team effort, as usual. It was just a great day. I got lucky. I hit some in, and it's uh, just a, a fun way to spend the day. I love it here. And Beth Page Polo in the Park is nothing better than that. It's a beautiful, beautiful venue, and uh, everybody seems to be so accomplished, and uh, you had a nice turnout today, but you have a big event coming up in a couple of weeks. Do you want to tell us about that? Oh, it's a, uh, a big event. My friend that was playing on the team with me today, Nick Aliano, is doing something for the PAL, Police Athletic League. And so we're going to uh, have a, a sponsorship game uh, for charity, and all the money is going to go to the PAL. So uh, that's uh, in two weeks from now. Uh, which is, I believe, uh, the 28th. I'm not sure. Yes. Yep. June 28th, I believe. Uh, for the PAL, and it starts at 3 o'clock. And there'll be uh, a lot of things for kids to do here. And uh, uh, they'll have pony rides, and we're going to play polo again and to benefit the PAL. So that should be great. So now today it was a tie score, wasn't it? It was 7-7. Seven to seven. Now, could you have played on further? Or they said something about you could have done a, a coin toss, but is it that it'll go on record now as a tie score? Yeah, it, uh, in this game, they let it be a tie score. Everybody wins. It's a friendly game. But if it was a tournament, there's a couple different ways. They could play on for another 15 minutes. They could do until the first person scores. Or sometimes they uh, uh, shoot a goal. And the, the, the team that scores the most goals from 40 yards out wins the game. So, But today, we're tied. Both teams are happy. A lot of fun. And just a great day in Polo, Polo in the Park at Bethpage. Well, wow, that's terrific, and thank you for letting me share in this exciting day, and congratulations to you. Uh, thank you for coming. Great day. Thank you very much. You're, you're very welcome. My pleasure.